James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is June 27, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had another M flare, this time an M1.2 magnitude solar flare. This appears to have occurred right around 1500 UTC time, only been in the M range for a short period of time, followed by a fairly substantial C flare, a C 5.7, the two strongest solar flares of the day. We can see that that solar flare, bang, right there, came out of our old friend Sunspot AR3340. Now, where did the C5.6 flare come from? Well, it was also generated by our old friend Sunspot AR3340. Now, we are using no equipment, but NASA indicates the second flare following the M1.2 solar flare was a C9.7, not 5.7. I definitely could not tell you what's going on there, but we have the same exact time on both those flares. NASA calling it out as a C 9.7, NOAA calling it out as a C 5.7. Uh, one or the other has made a mistake, and we're going to have to find out who that is as the data is cleared up. This is the first M flare, I believe, right around 1527. And then that should very quickly be followed by another strong flare here. And that's the questionable flare. Again, NOAA's calling it a 5.7. NASA's calling it a 9.7. It looks much closer to a C 5.7 to me. But we'll have to find out how the day shakes out. So here are the name sunspots as of 7 a.m. this morning according to NOAA. 3340 is the only complex beta gamma sunspot on the sun currently. Everything else is alpha or beta, which tells us even though 3341 looks very complex and 3354 looks very complex, the chances of either of them hurling an X flare are minute whereas the chances of 3340 are still 10% for the day. Of course, there was a 40% chance of M flare. It seems like we're having one every day, and they always seem to come from Sunspot AR3340. With that said, hold on, because we're just entering three or four months of heightened solar activity, earthquake activity, and volcanic activity here on Earth per the planetary lineups and geomagnetic connections. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, please share, subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.